With the key of David, I place the cloak of invisibility over our communication, minds, body, spirits, and our hearts. Pleading the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over our communication, minds, body, spirits, and our hearts. As well as this video and everyone watching. With the key of David, by the sound of my voice, I prophesy. Everyone watching this video, coming to know themselves and finding the son of true humanity within. With the key of David, by the sound of my voice, I prophesy. All those watching this video, hearts and minds being open to receive the gospel of the kingdom within according to Luke chapter 17 verses 20 through 21 in Jesus Christ of Nazareth holy name the gospel of Mary Magdala son of man continued in the gospel of Mary being made human means that the Savior's teaching has led the disciples to find the image of the child of true humanity within. They have grasped the archetypal characteristics of a certain person or thing image and became truly human. Levi's reiteration, which means to repeat something over and over, Levi's reiteration of Jesus' teaching at the end of the work reinforces this interpretation. We should clothe ourselves with the perfect human, acquiring it for ourselves as, as the Savior commanded us. The Gospel of Mary, chapter 10, verse 11. Here to the notion, which means idea, here to the notion of the perfect human, Coptic Greek refers to Jesus' earlier admonition to find the child of true humanity within. To find the child of true humanity within or to put on the perfect human means to come to know that one's true self is a spiritual being whose roots are nourished by the transcendent which means superior or supreme good. Salvation means appropriating this spiritual image as one's truest identity. Scholars have sometimes inaccurately equated Mary's statement that the Savior made the disciples truly human with Jesus' statement in the Gospel of Thomas that he will make Mary male the passage in the Gospel of Thomas reads, this is the Gospel of Thomas saying 114, Simon Peter said to them, let Mary leave us, for women are not worthy of life. Jesus said, I myself shall lead her in order to make her male, so that she too may become a living spirit resembling you males. For every woman who will make herself male will enter the kingdom of heaven. This is internal. We have a yin and yang, female and male side of our brain. And only Jesus Christ is worthy to do this internal work within us. Later in the Gospel of Mary, this statement also pits Peter against Mary. But the import of Jesus' teaching is quite different. In the Gospel of Mary, Jesus uses the generic term human being, and he makes both Mary and the male disciples into human beings. In the Gospel of Thomas, Jesus uses the non-generic term male, and he specifically says that he will make Mary male and other women will make themselves male resembling, which means to look like or be like you males.
the difference in gender imagery is striking. However, we interpret Jesus saying in the Gospel of Thomas and numerous suggestions have been made such as conforming, which means to comply or obey, to the male ideal or taking up ascetism, it clearly understands the male condition to be superior to that of women, not so for the gospel of Mary. It is straining to articulate, which means speaking fluently. It is straining to articulate a vision that the natural state of humanity is ungendered, which means not having or not being given a gender while constrained which means unnatural or awkward by language that was suffused with the androcentric which means dominated by or emphasizing masculine interests or masculine point of view values of its day the vision is clear for the gospel of mary the divine transcendent image to which the soul is to conform is non-gendered Sex and gender belong only to the lower sphere of temporary bodily existence. So the body is male or female, but the soul has no gender. The theological basis for this position lies in the understanding that the body is not the true self. The true self is spiritual and non-gendered, even as the divine is non-material, which means not material or composed of matter. Even as the divine is non-material and non-gendered. Remember that God is not called father in this work, but only the good, a term that in Greek can easily be grammatically neuter. Neuter means having no or imperfectly developed or non-functional sex organs. In order to conform as far as possible to the divine image, one must abandon the distinctions of the flesh, including sex and gender. And that is all for today, loves. I'll pick you up in the next video. Shalom. I love you all. Most importantly, Jesus Christ of Nazareth loves you and peace be with you.